In this video, we're going to explore how to call two functions with an on click in JavaScript. So basically, we want to apply two functions the moment we click a single button. How can we do this? Well, let's start and explore exactly how to do this. The first thing what we want to do then is to create a div. And in this case, I'll give you a div and then I'll call it a box. And in this box div, we're going to put in two items. First of all, I'm going to create a paragraph. And this paragraph will, will be having some basic text. So it's like, this is a paragraph. I guess that's the most common one to say. Graph. All right. So this is just straightforward text. And then what we want, we want to create a button here. So we say here, button. And we close this button. And this will be add two functions. So to do this, first of all, I want to create two separate functions here. So we say here, we're going to give a script tag and in the script tag, a closing script tag. And between here, we're going to create two different functions that will trigger the moment we on click. So what we're going to do here is we say function number one or function, and this will be specifically geared to the paragraph here. So what we can do here maybe is we're going to give this paragraph a uh, class. And this paragraph class will be um, text. Very straightforward. And then what we're going to do here, first of all, we're going to have a constant of text and text, or maybe text one. I'm not sure if text is officially allowed to use because maybe it's using, because it's quite general and it might be used by in any, any other JavaScript. So we say here text one, and then we say here document dot, and then we say here query selector meaning that we're going to search in this document that's the command so basically javascript understands we need to search in html document here and query means search for a selector with the name this is a string dot and a dot stands for the class this is the class name all right so that's very important now we're going to create two functions this function the first function will say change the color and this function will have parentheses and then we have here curly braces and then in here we'll say the following we'll say text one dot style dot color equal we can put in here any color we want let's say here string and say here blue so we have now here a command that's number one imagine we have another item we have another function function number two we will say change background. And this change background will do the following. We'll give it a background color. So we say here again, text one. And the reason why, because we have the constant value here. This const will understand that it will search for this specific query selector of class text one. So we say text one dot style dot background color with capital C equal. And this could be uh, black. Once we do that, and then what we can do here is basically trigger this. So we want to trigger it with the on click. So we say here on click equals, and then here double quotation. And here's very important. So we're going to have to put in the function name. So the first function will be this. So we say change color, and then we have here the parentheses. Once we did that, what we need to do next is we say here semicolon. Semicolon will indicate that there's something else more basically in the on click. So we can add up here another function, which will be change. And I see here a misspelling, sorry, change background, including the parentheses. You put it in here and then we don't have to put it. You can put it in here, but it's not necessary. Basically you just leave it like this because the parentheses itself is basically like a comma to understand that there you can put in another function. So now we have these two functions here working. Let's double test if they work. Let's refresh here. And now if we click on this, you can see now the background becomes black and the text, the paragraph text becomes blue. And that's basically how it works. And we can add, of course, another one. Imagine you have another one where we say here, let's create another function. We'll say font size large. And in here, we're going to put in as well the font size large. So we say text one, text one dot style dot font 
uh, font size I need to double check if this is the correct one or it's like this I think it's like this font size and equal 20 pixels make sure that this is a string and then once save this and then what we have to do is we have to copy this font size here we have another function let's copy this one here and then we'll save this make sure there's a parenthesis here indicating another function as well refresh here and now as you can see now we have increase the size and you can probably now figure out imagine you have three different buttons here where you can say increase font size or decrease font size you can play around with that so let's try that that would be i think a quite nice exercise imagine here we have now three different buttons and every button will do three different items here all right so we have this and then we can say here font size we can control this so what i'm going to do here this will be font size well we can do here not font size i'll just say font size i'm going to remove this and i'm going to fine tune this because if, if not we would have to have three different functions here because this is font size large font size medium and font size small for example what i want to do here is i'll say here this will be 10 pixels and this needs to be quotation and why we are using here single quotation why do you think well if you look here we already have double quotation here between using again a double quotation will break the code so that's why we're using a single quotation so we say here 15 pixels and finally the font size here will be 20 pixels so here what we could do here is then here uh, maybe we can do an a what we're going to do is and then this font we will just give it also some proper font size adjustments so it will be exactly equal here so have these three buttons here and this would be button one two and three so we can say here class small this will be medium and finally we have the class big all right so we have this and then i have to here give here proper styling so we say here class small font size no, not stretch font size 10 pixels yes and this will not be applied on our paragraph remember we're going to use the javascript for the paragraph but what we will do is we will attach basically the command here but we're going to make the button visually clear what it is all right so we say here medium and this will be 15 pixels and finally we have here another one which will be big and big will be 20 pixels of course we could use different values but this is fine for now so let's save this and refresh and now we have three different buttons here and if you would click on this you can see here oh let me double check if everything is correct font size large there you are so the reason why this didn't work is we have to make sure this all works all right we have this change color here and i can imagine you say well this doesn't make sense as well what we need to do is the following we're going to change the color fix the color so we say here for example uh oh, sorry let's remove that let's say here this will be gray this will be um black that's fine and finally we will have another one which will be light green that would change the color oh should, if this change color this should be uh maybe triple three just to make sure that's readable and the background color this will be light green then you will see we are going to use not only multiple functions in one but also multiple combinations creating a dynamic way of doing it so this would be green and finally here will be light blue all right so once we did this we need to say here color so basically here what happens is it will get the color depending on what we click it will understand the colors here and then this of course very straightforward we say color here next one here will be bg color copy this remove all of this we'll put in here and this will be size copy this and this value no strings here why no strings well this is a variable right now so a variable doesn't need any string so if we save this now and then refresh and now we can pay attention it gets small plus a light blue background then we have here 
a medium size 15 pixels and then finally this green background and then finally here light green background with a large font size so with this you can create these dynamic buttons that you might commonly see where you can control the font size of a paragraph so this is a way how you can use multiple functions two or even more plus creating a dynamic combination of it making it extremely useful and user-friendly with a very minimal amount of code that we have here thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel